Hey everyone, Joey, Turning Point Boatworks. Uh, time for the Thursday topic again. Um, I'm gonna preface this that uh, things might get a little spicy because I'm not that great of a mood today um, because of some um, happenings and, and it's, 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 it's not good. And, and as you know that I get most of my inspiration through social media. Um, and things that are said on there or conversations that happen on them. Not all are bad, some are good, uh, but there's a trend that happens every single fall, winter. It's the same stupid conversation about is sea kayaking dying? Um, I came across an article through social media, obviously, uh, from Paddling Magazine uh, that was titled The Fall and Rise of Kayak Touring. Um, and this is a really great take on, you know, the fact that things are changing. Um, it's not about the participation is falling off or anything like that. Things are changing. Um, if anything, the past three years have taught us that things change rapidly in life. And if you're a business, either you change with it, you adapt or you fall away. Um, so, and that, that goes, you know, for every single thing that we do. Uh, in this case, I'm specifically talking about paddle sports. Uh, what we saw during the pandemic uh, was unprecedented demand, unprecedented um, difficulty in getting materials and also the labor force in order to uh, adapt to those, that, that demand that was coming on. So, uh, you know, the change for the business was slow and it's sort of like a rubber band effect. We got stretched, then we reacted. Uh, bang, all of a sudden the shelves are full again and the, uh, the naysayers and the doomsdayers are all chiming in now and I'm fucking tired of it. Um, this business is changing and the sport is changing and we need to either accept that and move with it or just get out. Um, this negativity I see, you know, there's been some changes on the business front for two very well named, you know, known manufacturers. Uh, and of course, the naysayers and stuff start beating the drum of, oh my God, all is well, all is, is the sky's falling, all that kind of stuff. And the truth of the matter is, is they're adapting. Um, I got involved in a conversation and I'm gonna admit that I baited this person because I've seen the negativity coming from that direction. This thread that was going on on the social media post was going in a negative direction. Um, I knew all the answers because I have inside information. I baited this person and dispewing the negativity out for everybody to see so that it could be exposed. I don't know if I should feel sorry for that, for exposing it, or if I should feel vindicated for it because I'm in the business. I'm kind of torn on that. Um, because again, things are changing. You know, during that article, they talked about, you know, what was the accepted boat to use for kayak touring, kayak camping, things like that. Uh, people are using different things, um, you know, availability, budget, all that kind of stuff plays into, you know, what a person chooses to use for their particular sport. Um, and we should not judge the sport and the health of the sport based off of what we're seeing in trends and equipment. We should see what the demographics are. Um, we're seeing the gender gap is closed now in the uh, sea kayak or touring, whatever you want to call it, um, at this point, you know, we're seeing that, that, that gender gap close. We're also seeing more minority groups come in. Um, but the focus of everybody, and it's not wrong that it's a focus, it should be an awareness, but not a focus to where this is like skewing our conversations, is that the uh, the touring or sea kayaking demographic is getting older. Um, I'm not seeing it getting older. 
um, and probably what we're going to see um, because of the related effects on our health and things like that from the past three years, we're probably going to see a regression uh, in the age, the average age, instead of it advancing farther and farther forward. People are living longer, they can get better care of themselves, they're active later in their lives. Um, and we keep concentrating on how do we get the young people involved and all that kind of stuff. And here's my argument to that. Um, most people that are younger in this sport um, are single or you know married and just a couple they don't have the responsibility of family and things like that um, you're not gonna and it's gonna be extremely rare I'm not gonna say you're not going to but it's extremely rare to find somebody that has two kids that are you know in school things like that with a pair of really high-end touring comp, you know kayaks taking a course for the weekend or camping or something like that out of their kayaks because quite frankly, you know, their focus is on their family. It's not on that. So after all of that is done, we're seeing a lot of people get into the sport and starting to do things like symposiums and, you know, elevating their game, buying better equipment, things like that. This is why we see the older demographic in our sport. Um, I had a conversation with a doomsdayer. Um, this was an actual phone conversation. And, you know, the conversation basically went, um, you know, that uh, everybody in the sport's too old. Um, we're losing people as they get, exit the sport due to age, uh, things like that. And my response was, is that as long as the people entering the sport equal the one you know the the uh, people exiting is equal or a little bit greater then you know this is a healthy thing um, and for me to be selling a high-end boat um, yeah that's I'm, I'm looking for a particular you know customer to buy that and you know so for me as long as those people are concentrating on things like weight and performance and how they benefit them uh, then I feel like I'm fine so we've adapted, um, you know, a lot of other manufacturers are not adapting and that is not good for them. It's not a sport thing, it's not a manufacturing thing, you know, or a business thing as far as the overall business of, of paddle sports uh, manufacturing. It's an individual choice on their part to either not adapt or adapt. We choose to adapt. Um, the business itself is changing. We're seeing a lot of dealers that are not putting kayaks on the rack in their showrooms. They're not warehousing stuff. They're not doing pre-orders because the trends are that people, if they're gonna spend the kind of money that it takes to, to acquire a composite kayak, they want it to be theirs and not something, the colors, the layup, the, you know, everything else chosen by a person placing a pre-order and guessing on what people will like. They want what they want. And truthfully, if I'm going to spend five to six thousand dollars on something, I want what I want. And that's what's happening in the business now. Special orders are far more common than buying something off a shelf. So, you know, to all the naysayers and all of the doomsdayers on there, see kayaking is not dying. It's changing. The name of it is changing. It's more touring than anything else. I, you know, particularly fall into the category of open water performance, kayaking or touring. Um, but all of these things are all very good for the sport. And I see things like all of the symposiums that are happening this fall with record attendance, like days of old like this the west coast sea kayak symposiums you know numbers that are rivaling that now um, that is what i go by when i think about how healthy the sport is um, we're not talking about that we're just talking about what used to be we're not talking about what is and what could be and i think that if we stay stuck in the past the manufacturers are not going to respond with new designs better materials advancements because there's no need because they're you know we're, we're, we're living in the past, or we think forward and make things better, you get more for your money, you get more performance for your money, and we keep marching this business forward rather than being stuck in the past. So is sea kayaking dying? Not on your life. Um, and, and 
you know, every time I see this on the, on the internet, I'm going to take exception to it and I'm going to speak my mind. And it's not going to be nice um, because I'm tired of this. And, you know, to keep swirling in, in rumors and things like that online with, you know, again, behind the, the anonymity of a keyboard, um, it affects my business. It affects the business of kayaking. It affects a lot of things. So it needs to stop. We need to stop having this stupid conversation about it and start looking forward. So that's my thoughts for the day. And they are not random at all because I've been thinking about this a long time and it's been brewing and um, I hope you stuck with me through this. It's not my usual MO. And, um, but yeah, I, I get a little pissed off about things too. And it's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time and um, so you know I want to see the sport grow I want to see my students grow I want to see them surpass me I want to be the catalyst for change and it starts right here so that's it for today I've got um, some really big news I'm going to share next video um, once now that I've gotten this off my chest I'll, I'll be able to concentrate on more positive things in the future and um, yeah, I think, uh, I think you should stick around and, and see what we've got in store for next week. Thanks.